Greetings YouTubers, this is an update on the brood minder. Just finished my mite treatments, so I installed the brood minder today. And I did it, hopefully, with the more precise way of measuring the weight, and I'll show you that. Um, the stand is fairly level and plumb, so that's, that's not an issue. Uh, the brood minder is located right up here within this little notch. Um, this is a special bottom board I made that I showed you earlier in the video if you so desire and uh, I did a little addition to the back piece there's a notch here for the uh, angle iron which they recommend uh, I did two things additional um, as you know if you've been beekeeping when you start pushing on these uh, uh, boxes uh, you can move the hive if it's not really secure and you just have two pivot points now so it will slide on you so you be careful of that just don't think that you just throw it on there so what I did two things I drilled holes in the end and put cotter pins so pushing side to side is not going to push it off the angle iron that would be a disaster the second thing I did is I put a uh, piece of wood that goes completely through to both sides um, and screwed it into the stand uh, what this does, it prevents it from moving back and forth. So, at least on the back, you're going to have side to side and front and back uh, support as far as pushing the hive. The other thing we did is we installed the temperature and humidity uh, sensors. This one here, number 72, is in the on the top of the uh, bottom box, and double A is on the top of the second brood box. Uh, the reason I had to do it that way is I have what they call a wintering inner cover and I'm, right now I'm feeding a gallon of sugar water on there so that's why all the activity. So I couldn't mount it at the very top like they show in their picture. Also because the hole is in the center and that's where the sugar water comes through I decided to put it back and put it on uh, a sideways. I don't think it's gonna make that much difference and fired up the old phone let's see what we can find here and uh, I don't know if you can see this very well um, this is with the Android phone um, let's see 72 which is the bottom one has 89 degrees 65 percent relative humidity the double uh, A is 83 degrees with 54 percent relative humidity and outside temperature is 80 degrees and the hive weighs 109 pounds currently so anyway that's a quickie and you can go to the graphs on this you go to the next level okay here's one of the outside temperature oh let's see if the scale is off hmm anyway I'm not going to go into that now because it samples every hour and I don't want to re resync it and all that stuff. So um, you can do it in real time as well, but that really chews up the battery. So anyway, I found that also on the Android phone, the graphics are somewhat cut off, at least on my version. I have an Android 4.4.4 and uh, I used it on the iPod when I had it in the house and it seemed to work better. Um, and then it's iPod 6 which I use for my music but uh, anyway seems to work with better with the Apple one than it did with the Android just for your reference so anyway so far so good and uh, we'll see what kind of data we can get from this um, obviously I only have it on one hive and uh, this is the special uh, bottom board that I made up for it because this is a solid wood bottom board here you can slide in the uh, uh, mic board right on there and this is a brushy mountain screen bottom board and I showed you earlier why I did it elected to do it that way so anyway if you like the videos hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button in the corner and you get these videos free of charge be happy